Hello Angular developers. Today we are going to explore how to remove query parameters from the URL in Angular 18. This can be useful for cleaning up the URL after you have processed the parameters or when you want to navigate to a clean version of the current route. The most straightforward way to remove query parameters is by using Angular's router. So let me quickly show you an example. So go to the app.component.ts first of all we have to inject a service called router for that i will create a private property router and assign it the execution of inject function make sure to import the inject function from the angular slash core and pass it router service like this okay once that is done let's define a function called remove query params okay and within this function, I will access this dot router dot navigate. And within the navigate function, I have to pass two parameters, an empty object and an object with options. So I will pass only one option here because I want to remove all of the query string parameters. So I will just pass it query parameters is equal to empty object. That would make sure that all of the parameters are removed from the URL. Okay. Now let's go to the app.component.html and I'm going to create a button remove query params. Okay. And let's register a click event on this button. So when somebody clicks on this button, we will call a function remove query params. Okay. So as soon as this function is executed, it will remove all of the query string parameters. So let's add few parameters in the URL like this. So you can see we have param one, param two and other parameters as well so now if you click on the remove query params you will notice that all of the params are removed let me show you again click on the remove query params and everything is removed from the url so let's quickly talk about what we have done so far in this method go to the app.component.ts and here we basically first injected the router service then we used the router.navigate function to navigate to the current route that is empty array if you want to navigate to a different route you can specify within this array so this has to be the first argument then we pass an empty object here as the query params to clear our ex all existing query params okay now let's discuss the method number two using activated route with the router so if you need to remove specific query parameters while keeping others you can use activated route in combination with the router. So let's add inject another service private activated route is equal to inject. Make sure to import the activated route service as well from the angular slash router. And after that, we have to define another function remove specific query params. And within that function, I will access this dot activated route dot query params and there is an observable on that query params property we can subscribe to that observable and in that subscription we will pass a callback function that that will be giving us a parameter we can give it the params name and within the curly braces we will write our logic first of all i will create a copy of the current params by creating a constant updated params is equal to and I will spread all of the existing params in this subject. Okay. I did this because I want to remove specific parameter from the URL. Okay. Now I will use the delete keyword and use the object updated params and access the property that we want to delete from this object. We want to delete param to remove this can be any property whatever you want to delete from the url so let's suppose this is the parameter that we want to remove from the url so make sure the name is exactly same it can be the param3 as well but in that case you will have to type param3 here obviously okay once that is done we now know that there is no such query parameter in this object we can now use it to replace our query parameters in the url so for that after this line I will use this dot router dot navigate and within that first of all we have to pass the path where we want to redirect user we want to keep or uh, stay on the same 
route that's why i passed the empty array if i wanted to redirect to a different route for example if you want to take user to the about then you can specify in this way but for now we want to stay on the main page or root level route and in the second argument i would would like to pass the query params and we will assign the updated params to this property okay and in this object you know we already have removed the param to remove now let's copy this function and create another button click on click we want to call this new function and the text is remove specific query params okay now if you click on this it will remove all of the parameters from the url but if you click on this button remove specific query param then it will re remove only this query parameter so let's try it all right you can see that specific query parameter has been removed from the url now let's move on to the method number three that is using location service for more control over the url you can use the angular's location service okay so let's go back to the app.component.ts and here i need to inject the location service for that let's pass the location service in the inject function and save the response in the location service private property now let's define another function remove query params with location okay so first of all i want to save the url tree create a constant with the name url tree and we will get it from the this dot router dot parse url and we will get it from the this dot router dot url let me show you what we have in this variable for that i will alert the url tree just to show you what we have in it let's call this function through another button in the html we have to define that button here we need to call this function that we just created and let me update the text for this button remove Query params with the location. Okay, uh, we are getting an error in the console. You can see no provider for location. The reason is that I passed the location in the inject function, but I never imported the location service. So let's do that. Make sure that you import it from the Angular slash common. Now it is imported from the Angular slash common. Save it. Now all of the errors are gone. And if you zoom in, we have all of these three buttons let's click on the remove query params with location and this is what it will give us you can see we have all of the parameters after the root domain or base url okay this is what it will give us now we can proceed and complete our logic in this function so now i will use url tree dot query params is equal to empty object okay, okay. now i will use this dot location service and call the go function that we have available on that service and we will pass it url tree and convert the tree into the string by calling the to string function on it save it now let's quickly test it okay go back to the browser and if you click on this button remove query params with location you will notice that all of the query parameters have been removed from the url so in this method we injected the location service from the angular slash common then we parsed the current url into a url tree then we clear the query params by setting them to an empty object then we used the location dot go function to update the url without triggering a navigation event and there you have it we have explored three different methods to remove query parameters from urls in angular whether you need to remove all params specific ones or have more fine-grained control over the url you now have the tools to clean up your angular applications url effectively remember the choice of method depends on your specific use case and whether you need to trigger a new navigation or silently update the url i hope that you enjoyed this video if that's the case then please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos thanks for watching and see you in the next video goodbye